when I gave Ed that onda, I gave him a list of little jobs to do and I didn't want to overload him. Well, not today anyway. So I thought I'd help out by sorting out the duff wheels, which are crying out for a refurb. I asked company boss John if they're too far gone. I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. Nice to meet you. I've got this Honda S2000. It's lived by the seaside, and I think salt water has played havoc with the wheels. This is one of them. The look. other three are in the car. They're a bit of a mess. Can you repair this? Absolutely. These wheels were diamond cut originally, so they'll need to be re-diamond cut. There is a bit of corrosion, a few nicks and scratches here and there, but no, they'll go back to original. Fantastic. How much does it cost? Because of the longer process, because they're diamond cut, it's going to be 100 a rim. OK, well, that's going to make a difference to the car and it'll help me sell it. So, yeah, let's do it. The wheels are acid dipped to remove all corrosion. Then any surface debris is shot blasted off. OK, Mike, now that the shot blasting's done, we need to prep the wheel for paint, get rid of some of these rough edges and give the wheel a good sand all over. You can have a go at this if you like. I can do a bit of sanding. I flat the surface to make sure it's super smooth. Most wheel refurbishers use a two-pack resin filler to plug holes, but here they prefer to grind the metal back by hand. Right, Mike, next stage we need to do is powder coat it. Yeah. But before, we need to get it nice and warm. So I've just got to put it in the oven. I can feel the heat from those ovens already. It's a bit toasty. So you're going to open these yeah, doors? Yeah. Well, then I'm going to stand okay, back. Okay, no I worries. I don't want to burn. <laughs> whoa, whoa! An hour later, the wheels are at more than 200 degrees C, melting the powder into a hard shell. But that silver coat isn't the end result. Its top surface will be cut back with a diamond blade. We'll load the wheels onto a lathe, which is a tool to measure the profile, so the computer knows how many microns of material to remove. Then the tools are switched for cutting to begin. The reason that we're here. That's the diamond cutter, is it? That's good, It isn't is, it? yeah. Look at that. It's very sharp. All Locked. ready to go. Locked and loaded. It takes just a few short minutes for the blade to strip the top coat, and it gives us that highly polished front surface that looks so good. And after a layer of lacquer, the Honda wheels are restored to an as-new finish. Isn't that just fantastic? I could have changed the colour, but I'm glad I didn't, and I kept the wheels as they should be original. And that diamond cutting process has really finished them off. And it's also nice to lend a hand. It gives Ed one less thing to worry about. Now I've got one loaded up. Let's go and get the other three and get back to the workshop. 